Now today, aside from me, you are going to have the chance to hear from Kristen Rodak, um, D23's fantastic director of marketing, you all and membership. And you'll also get to hear from Becky Klein, the director of the Walt Disney Archives. But to kick things off, I'm very happy to introduce Vice President and Head of D23, Michael Vargo. Good morning, everyone, and thanks so much for coming out. I uh, could not be more excited than to talk about one of my favorite events of all time, the D23 Expo. Um, but first, I wanted to talk you through a little bit of the agenda for today, so thank you for the setup there, Jeffrey. Um, first of all, I'm going to talk about all the exciting things happening at our 2019 D23 Expo. We're then going to take a little bit of a break for lunch here in this room. And then at the end of that uh, lunch service, Kristen will come up and talk to you about all the great things that we have going on with D23, the official Disney fan club. From there, we're going to go over to the Walt Disney Archives right around the corner where you'll hear from Becky. And then the three of us, Kristen, myself, and Becky, will come back to this room with all of you for a general Q&A uh, opportunity. Following that, we're then going to, uh, those of you who want to go, um, take a uh, tour of the studio lot, and we're actually going to take you up to Walt Disney's office. So if you haven't seen Walt's office and the restoration project there, something you don't want to miss. So, I'm here to talk about Expo, the largest Disney fan event in the world, where we celebrate everything from the past, present, and future of Disney. 2019 will be our sixth Expo at the Anaheim Convention Center. And it is where we bring everything from Disney, Pixar, Marvel, and Star Wars, all under one roof for three really incredible days. It is chock full of panels, presentations, celebrities, a massive show floor with exhibits and shopping. It's truly the best of film, television, theme parks, online, products, music, entertainment, and so much more. So we had such a great time at our 2017 Expo, which I know hopefully all of you were there. Um, but uh, So I thought it'd be fun to take a look back at um, some of those highlights. So let's take a look. to the 2017 D23 Expo. Want to see everything Disney, Pixar, Marvel, Star Wars. Ladies and gentlemen, Galaxy's Edge. I'm here to talk about The Last Jedi. If the odds of me being here today were astronomical. Almost like blowing up the Death Star. I just happened to be in the neighborhood. Ladies and gentlemen, Tom Holland, Chris Hemsworth, the man who started it all, Robert Downey Jr. Hey, so merchandise and a lot of friends. I'm having a blast. I'm on fire. Disney is just a big part of our lives and we're so glad to be here and experience it firsthand. I love being here surrounded by all the Disney community and the Disney fans just like me. We've seen characters, people in cosplay, costumes. We're three generations of Disney fans. We love it. To be part of an insane amount of positive passion is wonderful. The magic doesn't end here. The magic is all year round. Disney made you feel that no matter where you came from, you were welcome. Do it again. I guess we are. So, <laughs> as I mentioned, we'll be back at the uh, Anaheim Convention Center, and our dates are August 23rd, 24th, and 25th of 2019. Tickets go on sale next Thursday. We're going to talk a little bit more about that later. But first, we would we thought it would be great to reveal our look and feel and creative 
um, of the approach that we're taking with the expo this year to you first. So um, we would love to um, give you a first look of what that is all going to look like. Um, we created something that we think is fresh and contemporary and something that's bold, fun, and really creative. So let's take a look. Do you want to do the honors? All right. So we wanted something that revealed a lot of our classic characters, along with some new fan favorites. You'll see this evolve over the years as we introduce some of the breakout characters in their environment, but really wanted something that balanced some of our signature characters, and again, celebrating everything that's part of the Walt Disney Company. So we have a little Pixar, a little Marvel, uh, Star Wars, and of course, Disney. So this is really gonna be a fun approach um, for our look and feel for next year. So we're really excited about that. And we're also not only branding this as the official or the ultimate Disney fan event, but we're also looking at it as the ultimate Marvel fan event, the ultimate Star Wars fan event, and the ultimate Pixar fan event. So there's lots of different uh, ways how we're going to um, work with this creative. So we're really excited about that. Thought it would be fun to also tell you about what's coming back for the expo and what we're bringing back some of our fan favorites. The first is the ultimate fan street party which we're excited. This is where Mickey and Friends celebrate a parade on the show floor twice per day. We'll have some celebrity grand marshals, like last year we had Mark Hamill, Mandy Moore, Stan Lee. So really a fun fan favorite that adds to the uh, fun and excitement on the show floor um, each day. We're also bringing back multiple presentation venues. So Hall D23 will make its return. That's our largest venue with over 7,000 seats. We will also have the Expo Arena, which will have seating for over 4,000 people. Stage 23, which is up on the third floor of the Convention Center, will have over 2,000 seats. And then we'll also bring back our favorite uh, Walt Disney Archive stage, which has some more historical and uh, niche programming, uh, which is always fun and, and packed all three days. And we're also looking at, again, stacking our programming so that our schedule, there's multiple options for guests to choose. So there'll be simultaneous sessions happening so everyone can kind of choose a track and a path that they, um, for some of their favorite presentations. We're also bringing back Masquerade, and this is one of our favorite events that we get to do. This is really the ultimate Disney fan costume contest. And this is really where fashion, cosplay, and costumes all collide and come to life on stage. These fans, as you know, they spend months and months and months designing and creating some of these fantastic costumes. So I'm um, excited to bring that back um, to life on stage. And what, of course, is a costume contest without judges? Well, we're excited to announce two of our judges today, one of which is a returning judge. You know her as the actress from shows like Community, The Mayor, and she's also the voice of Luna in Elena of Avalor. Excited to bring back. Uh, Yvette Nicole Brown as one of our judges. Our second judge is an actress, entrepreneur, fangirl trendsetter, and author, Ashley Eckstein, um, who lends her voice in Star Wars Rebels, and she's also the founder and general manager of her universe. Now, she was so excited that we, and honored that we asked her to come back as a, as a uh, Mouse Parade judge, she wanted to come by and say hello. So would you please give a uh, warm welcome to Ashley? Thank you so much, Michael. Adorable. Look at oh, you. Look at you. you. I love this. Thank so, you. Very fun. Hi. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. I'm excited. I'm super excited. And we are so excited to have you back as a judge for Masquerade. What did you enjoy about the event last year? Well, obviously, I love anything dress up, anything costumes, obviously anything fashion. Um, I'm wearing one of our new dresses today from the dress shop at Disney Parks. Um, but I really appreciate being a fan um, and then bringing your vision to life. And the fans at Masquerade worked for hundreds of hours, hundreds of hours and months on these amazing pieces. So um, I like to, to check out their amazing work and then also reward their hard work to see, you know, when the fans, some of the winners, 
to see you know their hard work actually be celebrated and rewarded on stage at D23 Expo is amazing. It's amazing the work that goes into that. Is there one particular costume that you remember that jumps in the line? Uh, there's so many. Yes, well, um, it was definitely one of the winners. Uh, actually, it might have been the overall winners. It was the Heart of Tafiti and Taka. Mm -hmm. uh, so I love Moana. Who, who loves Moana here? Right? <laughs> I'm obsessed with Moana. Um, and so we had two girls, uh, two good friends, actually design a uh, Heart of Tafiti costume and a Taka costume, and it was incredible. Um, and then there was Thunder Mountain, if you remember. Oh, yeah. You know, it was especially incorporated with the dress. So she what? merged fashion with costume, and it was a Thunder Mountain dress that worked. It literally worked. It went around the dress. That's fun. <laughs> so we announced Yvette Nicole Brown is coming back as well. What yes. was your rapport like working with her during the judging process and all of that on stage? It was incredible. I'm thrilled uh, to be working with her again. Um, you know, what I really liked is all of us judges, you know, we take it so seriously. And um, Yvette just, we, she was in it. Like, we want to see every single detail. We want to hear their stories. Um, and, you know, I appreciate judges that, that appreciate how much um, the fans care about this and how much work goes into it. So we announced some really cool stuff so far about the expo and some yes. fan favorites coming back. What is it about the expo that you love? What's your favorite? Ooh, well, this will be my fourth D23 Expo um, next year. So I've been going as a fan um, for several years. And well, if anyone, I know I recognize a couple of familiar faces in here. I'm just a Disney nut <laughs> in the best of ways. I am obsessed with all things Disney. So for me, um, not only is it the ultimate fan experience, I mean, and you get everything. So I am like a mashup <laughs> between Disney, Star Wars, and Marvel, and I can get everything. At D23. Like, I can go over to the Star Wars section, get my cool exclusive, get the Alice in Wonderland stuff, which I love, yeah. and then um, Marvel stuff, and so I get a little bit of everything. That's fun. Well, you've had a lot of exciting things going on in your world as well, especially with your book, It's Your Universe. Yes. Yes. So, um, thanks to D23, you all get a copy today. Um, so, I'm, I'm thank and you. And signed by Ashley. Thank you very much. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, so, thank you. Um, thank you for sharing uh, the book. It's, it's actually my kind of ode to Disney. My ode to Disney, my ode to Star Wars. I am very much a product of Disney. I joke, um, I haven't done 23andMe or a DNA test, but I do joke that I would have a DNA chromosome, uh, or a chromosome in my DNA of Disney. Um, and I grew up in Orlando, my dad was a Disney cast member, and the world of Disney influenced me and inspired me to make my dreams come true. So the book is part autobiography, but more importantly, it's an advice book on how to dream it and do it. Um, and by the end, hopefully the reader has a roadmap um, on how to make their dreams come true because uh, I really do believe that the dreams that you wish can and do come true and this book hopefully will be a step-by-step -step guide but it's really not my story it's it's the story of Disney yeah it's a wonderful story too and I you know I gave it to my two daughters and said you need to read this oh, it is really fantastic thank so, you yes really exciting thank so you. excited to have you so excited to have you come back to the D23 Expo next year and Mouse Parade and make this wonderful costume contest come to lights again. So thank you so much for being here with us today. Exactly. Thank you, Michael. I'm going to have to design my own costume. i got to start working now. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen some of those works. And they're pretty incredible. So. Yes, I have, I have some things in mind, so stay tuned. All right. All right. Thank, thank, you, so thank you, Michael. All right. Thank take you. care. Thank you. Yeah, for coming by. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Another fan favorite that we're going to be return that's going to be returning to the expo is our design challenge, and we're excited to announce that this year's theme, next year's theme, is going to be um, all about the haunted mansion attraction, since it's celebrating its 50th anniversary at Disneyland next year in 2019. So, if you don't know what the the design challenge is, it's actually 23 pieces of art that's on display on the show floor throughout the weekend. Um, they are anything from paintings, drawings, sculptures, and models um, done by our fans. We have one grand prize winner that gets a cash prize of $2,300 um, for their art. So it's really um, a fun uh, uh, process that we go through with our judges and everything leading up to the expo. So excited to have that come back. We also are returning many other fan favorites. 
Of course, the Walt Disney Archives is going to put together an incredible exhibit. As last year you saw, it was all Pirates theme. So we'll be making an announcement sometime next year about the theme for our next Archives exhibit. We're also returning a lot of our popular photo locations around the show floor. A lot of fans um, were excited to, to get their pictures posted and everything around our, our photo opportunities. We're also bringing back Talent Central. This is where you can meet your favorite Disney luminaries and lots of celebrities. And then, of course, our Disney Legends Awards Ceremony. This is where we honor those who have made significant contributions to the Walt Disney Company during their career. Also returning is Store Pass and Stage Pass. This is another fan favorite for um, helping them guide through um, lines as we get into presentations and panels, as well as access to the stores. Um, and we're actually going to be improving that fan experience with Stage Pass and Store Pass with some new technology. We're actually introducing RFID badges this year um, for the expo. So this is really going to help enhance the overall guest experience while we're there. We've heard a lot of feedback from our fans and from our media friends, um, and we really take that seriously. So we really want to make the guest experience the best possible that we can, um, and we're um, looking at some RFID technology to help with that. <clears throat> also want to talk to you about some gold member benefits that are going to be available to the ex at the expo. As you know, our D23 gold members get a little exclusive experience um, throughout the weekend. First of all, we're gonna give them another exclusive gift. Last year, it was, a, it was very popular. We gave the really cool Legends Litho, if you remember. Um, can't tell you what the gift is this year yet, but we are giving out a gift. They will also have priority access queuing to some of our uh, presentations in Hall D23, as well as the Expo Arena. And then we'll also, um, bring back some of our benefits and offers that we um, gave with our uh, Disney retailers and some of our Disney partners. And also this year, we are offering a discounted ticket exclusively to our gold members. So let's take a look, look, look about um, our overall ticketing. So our ticket prices for gold members and um, will only be available as an early, I'm sorry, we're only making discounted tickets available to our gold members this year. And in addition to that, it will be an additional discount for gold members during an early bird window until November 20th. So they kind of get two discounts off of those regular price tickets. Again, you can see the uh, price points here between our gold member pricing and our non-gold member pricing. And these are the early bird prices that we have up here for our gold members. Um, we are announcing that tickets will go on sale August 23rd at 10 a.m. for our Sorcerer group. And as you know, the Sorcerers have a VIP experience on the show floor with some extra benefits. And then at 11 a.m., the general and all other tickets will go on sale um, at that time. So both the one and the three day for gold and non-gold members. <laughs> We um, also, 24 hours prior to ticket day sale, so on August 22nd, we are actually going to post the link on d23expo.com to the ticketing site, so people can click on that and get into the ticketing site ahead of time. You can't buy the tickets then, but at least you already have access to the ticketing site. So Expo exclusives. We are um, uh, proud to announce that we're actually going to be offering online only merchandise available as a pre-sale during the um, Expo <coughs> ticket, for, only for Expo ticket purchasers. This will go up until the end of this year. So there's a, we actually have a, a, a sample display of some of the merchandise items that we have available. It'll be a t-shirt, we have a male and female t-shirt, a commemorative pin, a tote bag, and a lanyard, and you can also purchase a bundled merchandise piece as well. So really excited to offer merchandise online in advance. All of this will be shipped to uh, those who purchase the merchandise next summer, so they'll get it well in advance of the expo um, uh, before they make their way to the event. Some other exclusives that we're offering only for ticket purchasers is that we have um, special priced hotel rates with a lot of our Anaheim partner hotels, including our Disney properties. And that's actually going to be the lowest possible rate that you can find on the internet. So exclusive through our link that we're gonna post on our ticketing page. 
We're also um, offering special price theme park tickets to Disneyland as well for those who purchase tickets to the expo. And that link is also going to be posted there. Speaking of merchandise, we're excited to bring back um, one of our sponsors, uh, American Tourister, who will have their signature shop on the show floor as well. So um, a little bit more about American Tourister in uh, a little bit later. <clears throat> and something that we're really excited about, which is also new for this year, is a new video series that we are going to um, put out on our social platforms. It's called Know Before You Expo. And this is really a way to help our guests navigate their way around the expo. It will be a monthly video series that we will kick off starting August 23rd of this, uh, this month. And um, it will give everything from like tips on how to make hotel reservations, what to expect when you arrive at the expo, um, new exciting breaking news and announcements. So we're really excited to share this. And again, it, it's all coming back from the fan feedback. We read all the questions, all the comments, and we really want to be a little more proactive in getting that message out to our, uh, our guests. So we're excited about that. Mm -hmm. 